to make a short note on this picture of and again if you listen to the podcast app, i do apologize but there's an image here i have on screen of adele taken by the legendary photographer alistair mcclellan um you know of course you know fantastic photographer plus they're definitely one of our best here in the uk or the great british isles and she looks fantastic she looks amazing obviously adele um looks incredible but again not to stress about this because you know it's not that big of a deal in general but is there a is there at least an acceptance yeah is there an acceptance and a realization that sometimes or most of the time most people especially when it comes to women because you know how how their weights can basically fluctuate and the fact that if you drop a couple of pounds you can change sizes you know you can go to like two to three sizes really quickly there's been acceptance if you're a woman that losing a few pounds is drastically drastically going to improve um how what you look like your attractive your kind of attractiveness and also your kind of overall inner confidence because it looks as if since Adele has lost weight she has not there's not a camera that she's seen which that she's not wanting to pose in front of you know what I mean of course she's running up you know she's trying to market an album um you know get back into the swinger thing it's just a whole new world that she kind of stepping back into from the time that she did her previous album you have to be a little bit more engaged you have to be on social media do all these kind of things I get it but there is no denying that part of her weight loss has been amazing too. It's been this sort of inner confidence has given her. Of course, she's always been a confident girl. I think if you look at her other album covers, they clearly show that somebody who was aware that their face was, you know, top 10, top level. So she always kind of let it be known that, you know, I am pretty. I may be a bit fat, but I am pretty. So every picture you saw of her, she looks amazing. Makeup was always done right. So for sure, she knew what her assets were. But there's no denying since she's lost the pounds, since she's been able to keep it off consistently, which is, again, the hardest thing to do, especially if as a former fatty myself, I know how hard it is to go from losing weight to then trying to keep it off, especially if you've been a fatty most of your life. It's just difficult to do. But there needs to be an acceptance that this just looks better. It just is what it is. And again, it doesn't denigrate people who don't want to lose weight, who want to stay the size that they are. That's perfectly okay. But for whatever reason, we're living in a society now where people want both things they want to they want to be praised when they lose the weight but they also want to be praised for being the weight that they are if it is bigger like they want both right or they or they want or they don't accept when people put like um what do you call it traditional beauty standards on them in terms of kind of what people are regularly into and again that's not our fault i wish we could live in a world where you know all sizes were appreciated but for the most part you know, most guys, most people in general do prefer people to be of a certain size, a certain shape, whatever it may be. It is just is what it is. And the other funny part of it I was thinking about too, which kind of doesn't get spoken about too often, I guess because it hits too close to home, is that if you think about the unfair beauty standards that exist in the world, especially the ones that have been purported now, especially the ones that have just been pushed now, especially the ones that are probably the most toxic, they mostly come from women. It's other women basically promoting you know horrible things to other women in a way to kind of make money but obviously again to kind of damage their long-term mental health we think of stuff like diet pills um diet lollipops and shit skinny teas um those bands you put around to work out around your waist that do fucking nothing um you think of you know cosmetic surgery all these crazy things that people do they're usually other women doing to themselves right of course you'll say some people would argue say yeah but they're doing that for the male gaze but really and truly men could be convinced to like a certain thing more than the other like for instance guys i grew up with in school you know back in the day would would have said oh if a girl has a bum like beyonce they're not going to date her because the bum's too big right it was like a sign of fatness nowadays you know a girl that looks like that couldn't you know couldn't walk down the street um, two minutes without being hollowed at or let it be known that people like what she looks like. Do you know what I mean? People's tastes can change over time, you know, as the kind of, um, as maybe, the, maybe it's the internet as well because we're seeing different types of shapes of women, whatever it is, whatever it is. I'm just saying guys can be convinced really to like whatever, whatever because for the most part guys aren't really choosy they're not the one choosing they're the ones just accepting whatever's given to them unless they're Jason Momoa or something right so it's just interesting that 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 just to kind of observe from afar because again me not being a fan of Adele's music um at all and thinking it's pretty much garbage and maybe she's quite overrated as an artist but there's no denying that she looks stunning now like legitimately stunning like she always has looked stunning but she looks 
way way better now that she's lost the weight it just is what it is and i think most people would if they could lose five to ten pounds would look incredibly be incredibly good but it's also it's less about what you look like and more so what it does to your inner confidence i think people say that a lot when you when you work out i know i've had the same thing most of my kind of you know desire to lose weight and desire to be fit over the history of my life has mostly been to attract more women and obviously to wear designer clothes right those have been my surface level shallow sort of reasons why i wanted to lose the weight but then when you start doing it and you start getting into exercising and you start loving the feeling of these endorphins all this whatever it may be and it's adrenaline all this sort of stuff right you start getting high off the exercise what you start to realize is that it's actually a great kind of um it's actually a great sort of personal thing it's sort of like a great little therapy thing that you go through as well where you start to kind of love yourself from the inside more from more so from the outside even though if you dropped two dress even like for me i went from being a 38 waist to like a 36 to being like a 35 34 and then you're like a 32 like oh my god i can't believe i'm wearing these jeans that i never wore before in like seven years or something like it blows your head but then it's actually nice how you feel inside about yourself do you know what i mean how you've kind of proves yourself that you can do something that's incredibly difficult which it is don't let anybody denigrate weight loss weight loss is really difficult it's probably one of the hardest things to do in your life like hundred, hundred million million percent and the fact that you kind of stuck with it and you lost whatever it doesn't matter if you lose five pounds the fact that you can you can now button your shirt up that way or this like all those tiny things that you notice like wow and it makes you feel 10 times taller it makes you feel it, it just it gives you a confidence that you can't never buy it gives you a confidence that no amount of mdma coke you know red bull anything will give you this is the inner confidence that you get usually from losing weight which doesn't really get spoken about too often because it's you know like i said it's what well, some reason is some sort of weird taboo subject people don't like to talk about but again big up adele she smashed it she looks amazing this is the image of her taken of by alistair mcnillan from vogue november 2021 issue if you want to check out yourself it's from this account called couture is beyond on twitter so if you're listening to the podcast app you want to know what i'm talking about it's an account on twitter called couture beyond couture spelled c-o-u-t-u-r-e is beyond i-s-b-e U I S B E Y O N D or one word on Twitter. Check the link. It's amazing. Or just go on my Twitter feed. I've retweeted it on my feed. You can check it out as well if you want on that regard. But yeah, she looks fantastic, man. She looks fantastic.